Here is a quick overview of Paul Lester's six perspectives and how they can be used to analyze photography. The six perspectives are personal, historical, technical, ethical, cultural, and critical. These six perspectives can be used to analyze any form of visual communication, but for today, we will focus on photography. Lester's first perspective is the personal perspective, which is our first reaction to an image based on our own views and opinions. This image shows a woman holding a flower as she approaches heavily armed guards during a protest for peace in 1967. Now that you've seen this image, what was your initial reaction? Do you dislike the picture? Do you like it? How does it make you feel? That is your personal perspective. The historical perspective is Lester's second perspective. He defines this perspective as a determination of the work based on the medium's timeline. What are these men dumping into the sewer and why are they doing it? In order to fully understand this photograph, you need to know the history behind it. This photo was taken right after a raid during the Prohibition era, a time when alcohol was banned in the United States during the 1920s. Next up is the technical perspective. The relationship between light, the recording medium used to produce the work, and the content in which the work is shown. When analyzing photos, one must have an understanding of the technical elements of taking a picture. How did the photographer make the dog the center of this image? What kind of lens was used when taking the picture? And where was the photographer positioned when taking the picture? Lester's fourth perspective is the ethical perspective. The moral and ethical responsibilities that the producer, the subject, and the viewer of the work have and share. This next photo actually comes from the front page of an international newspaper that displays an image taken moments after the tragedy at the Boston Marathon. Now, the original photo is very graphic, and while this photo remains graphic based on its subject matter, the paper has muted certain graphic elements with the placement of text and by changing the photo to be more gray-based in color. The fifth perspective is the cultural perspective. An analysis of the metaphors and symbols used in the work that convey meaning within a particular society at a particular time. Here we have two eggs. What is the message or symbolism in this picture? One take on this photo is that an egg is an egg, no matter what the color, and the same applies to people. We are all people at the end of the day, no matter where we're from, what color we are, what shape we are. We all have the same thing in common. We're people. The final perspective is the critical perspective. The issues that transcend a particular image and shape a reasoned personal reaction. This perspective asks us to reflect on the imagery as a whole based on all that we know. How are we affected by this visual message? Do we believe what we see?